Okay, so first of all, I want to have 10 random numbers. And I want for all of the numbers to be at least 10 and to be no greater than 50. And I want for the 10 numbers to add up to 300. So I'll start by doing equals rand between. The bottom will be the minimum value. And I'll press F4 on the keyboard to put dollar signs around that cell reference to make it an absolute cell reference so that it doesn't change when I drag the formula down. And then the top will be the maximum value. And I'll also make that an absolute cell reference and then close brackets and enter. And I'll drag this down until I have 10 numbers. Then do equals sum and add up these numbers. So at the moment I have 10 numbers that are all between 10 and 50, but at the moment they don't add up to 300. In order to fix this, I'll take the target value and then divide it by the actual sum. Then I will take each of these numbers and multiply it by the value that I just calculated. And I'll press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference and then drag the formula down. Then I will drag the sum across. And now the numbers in this column are adding up to 300. And I can press F9 on the keyboard to recalculate this. And it will always add up to 300. Now let's assume that you don't want to have all of these decimal places and that you want whole numbers. In order to do that, we will use round and the number of digits needs to be zero to round to the nearest whole number. And I'll drag this down. And now these numbers will sometimes add up to 300 because you'll be rounding some numbers down and some numbers up, and so sometimes that will cancel out. But other times you'll end up with a number slightly greater than or slightly less than 300. In order to fix this, I'll take the target value and then subtract the actual sum to work out the difference. And then I'll copy the first nine numbers. Then for the final number, I'll take this value here and then add on whatever the difference is. And I'll drag the sum formula across. And now this column here will always add up to 300. However, there is an issue with this. Because of the changes that I've made to the numbers, sometimes they're not between 10 and 50. So I will add a test for this. So I'll do equals if. Then I am testing for two things. So I also need to use or. And I'll say if this here is less than the minimum, and we'll make that an absolute cell reference, or if this here is greater than the maximum, and that needs to be an absolute cell reference as well. And if either one of those things are true, then I want it to show me the word fail. And if not, then I want it to show me a blank cell. And then I'll drag that formula down. At the moment, all of the numbers are passing, but if I recalculate this a few times, you'll see that sometimes the numbers fail. So I'll do equals count blank, and then count how many blanks there are in this range. And if everything passes, then I'll end up with the number 10, but if I get anything less than 10, that means at least one of the numbers is failing. I can try and stop them from failing by adding in another column here. And I'll do equals if, and I'll say if this here is less than the minimum, and that needs to be an absolute cell reference, then I want to replace it with the number in the first column. Because I know the numbers in the first column will always be between 10 and 50. 
Then I'll add in another if test and I'll say if this is greater than the maximum and that needs to be an absolute cell reference, then I also want to replace it with the value in the first column. And if neither one of these things is true, then I just want to copy the value and close brackets twice and enter and then drag this formula down. I'll drag the sum formula across and then some of the other formulas need to be adjusted as well. So this needs to be dragged across and this needs to be dragged across. Then I can drag this down to fix all of these numbers and for the final number this needs to be dragged across as well. And now all of the formulas are fixed and this is less likely to fail, although it's still possible that it could fail. How likely it is that it will fail will depend on the numbers that you have selected up here and how realistic they are. For example, if I change the maximum to 20, then this is always going to fail because that just can't work. Also, I've added multiple levels of complexity to this, which you might not need. You might not want the two columns here. You might be fine with just this column here and then just recalculating it a bunch of times until you end up with numbers that meet your criteria. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to generate random numbers in Excel that add up to a certain amount. And that is everything.